Yeah, ah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yo, uh, and it's the daily, daily, the daily, the, 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 uh, you think it ain't when it is, what, you think it won't when it whiz, we are here and we are in motion, we do this thing, taking off left lane, no coasting, we are in motion, baby, Friday night, let's get ripped, no, yo, flashback Friday, the goddess Friday, and, and, and uh, everything is gonna be all right. Uh, you didn't think it would tonight, uh, but it will. Uh, still, uh, everything is gonna be real cool. We gonna do this and cut the food. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I'm glad to be here all night. For real, it's the daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, go get a mism show. And tonight we talking about voices. Tonight we gonna get into a little something about voices. What y'all know about that? Are you turned on or turned off by the sound of somebody's voice, by the tone of somebody's voice? Listen, a lot of people put a lot of stock and a lot of credence and a lot of a lot of thought into the way that a person's voice sounds. For some people, the way a person's voice sounds is as important to them as the way that they look. So it's like if somebody's voice or the way that they talk really turns you off, Sometimes you may be physically turned off from them. Like, yo, I don't think that you are cute. You sound real stupid. Ooh. And uh, as crazy as that may sound to somebody who don't really care about that, it's a real thing. It's a real thing to people. Some people really, really care about the sound of somebody's voice and the way it sounds. So, you know, I can't be mad at them. I mean, you can be mad at them. I can't be mad at them. I can't be mad at them. Ah. Uh. But we're gonna take a look at it tonight, tonight, tonight. Where, where, where? On the daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, go get up, miss the show. The sound of your voice. So that same golden voice that might get everybody to be attracted to you on some Earth of Kit shit. You know, on some Barry White shit, it might be the same voice that gets you in all of the trouble because you don't sound like anybody else. So when your voice is on tape, they know that you said what you said and you can't get out of it. Uh, I wish y'all know. So we're going to talk about voices tonight. And what about you? What about your voice? Do you have a voice that's similar to other people? Do people say, you know what? When I hear you speak, it reminds me of this person, that person, somebody else, somebody famous, somebody that will really remind me of my... Yo. So, I mean, we're going to talk about voices tonight. Do you have a unique voice? Have people people told you all your life, you know what? You know, I could listen to you talk all night long. I could listen to you talk all night long. Talk to me. I talk, talk all night long. Talk to me. I, yo, talk all night long. Talk to me. I don't give a shit what you're saying. Just, yo, let me hear your voice. Yo, put it in my ear, in my ear hole. Want to do it to me in my, in my ear hole. You talk to me. I would do anything you want me to do. I lay down for you. So, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. The voices on the Daily Go Get a Miss Show. So, let's get it popping. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this. Your daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily Go Get a Miss Show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day. Every day it rains, every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby, every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. I'm your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the And if you can't say Omar with the well, then you just say Omar with the R's, the Daily Go Get a Mism Show all up in your area. What's going on, double 74, double, 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 74, and Monica, Queen Monica, 40. Queen Monica, Monica D, 40. This is my Queen Monica Davis. And shisha 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 Charlene Curry. A ch 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 Charlene Curry. What's going on, Sha Charlene? How you feeling, Sha Charlene? Good to see me some you. T Carry right morning, noon, and night. It's always good to see you right there in the chat in my sights. And a Mona Mona Garris. Oh, Mo, what's up, Mo? Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, yo, what up, Mo? 
Good to see me some, you no doubt, Cherry Cherry Cinderella. Cinderella, Dana Dane. It's the woman, Dana Dane, with famous Cinderella, Dana Dane. Well, it's the woman, Dana Dane, with fame. What's going on, Dana Dane? And my girl, my girl, me favorita, Carol Chamberlain. Carol, 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 Carol Chamberlain, me, Carol Chamberlain, me favorita. Stacey Yvette White, morning, noon, and night. What's going on? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. So, yo. So, tonight, tonight, we're going to talk about voices. Now, last night, I told y'all that we were going to talk about something about the power of attraction. All right? I, I wasn't feeling it. I, wasn't, I couldn't feel it. You know what I mean? So, I hope y'all ain't mad. But I, th I, I thought this was a unique topic. And, and I think that it's a unique topic because we're talking about unique characteristics of a person's personality. The way that you talk, the sound of your voice is part of your personality. You know, so, you know, that's whether we're talking about whether you have a good singing voice, because you, as you know, celebrity wise, we've had plenty of people that we have loved, even loved to, to hear them sing, rap, whatever. We've bought records. We've gone to shows. We follow careers all because of the sound of their voices or the music that they could make. But more than likely we were listening to them sing the music. So we know that a lead singer and a group stand out. They stand out because of, because of their voice, their voice, the way that they sing. Now they may have a voice that reminds you of somebody else. And that may be the reason why you like them, or they may have a, a, a sound or a voice that's so unique that it's not like anything that you've ever heard, but it is really something to behold. You know, something like a David Ruffin. Don't nobody. I mean, to this day, David Ruffin passed in what, 1991, 1992? And, and, but the way that he sang, the way that he projected his voice, it was like nobody you ever heard before. Barry White, the late great maestro. You know, his voice was deep. And Barry White, his voice was as deep when he sang as it was when he talked. You know, it's hard to get a, 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 a bass voice baritone as deep as as Barry White. I mean, you can, it's hard to even imitate it, but it got him far because not only could he really sing well, he could also compose music and all that. But when he talked, you knew it was Barry White. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Barry White trying to imitate somebody else? Barry White. Like no, no, this is not Barry White. This is um, <clears throat> this is Terry Frank. Terry Frank. Yeah, this is Terry. This this is Terry Frank. Terry Frank. Barry, stop playing. No, no, no. This isn't Barry. This isn't Barry. I, I swear to God, this, this isn't Barry. Like he, it would be really hard for him to do that. And it sounds to me like that might have been a the gift and the curse in his life because although his voice may have been the thing his instrument to be able to become wealthy, famous, and, and, and to, to be able to display his gift, it may have also been the thing that, you know, if you heard his, if he uh, said something to somebody that he ain't had no business saying on tape, it was like, nah, Barry, that's you. No, no, that wasn't me. I mean, you're, it ain't like it's a video on there. That, that's not my voice. Yes, it is, Barry. That's you, son. Like, I'm sorry. That is your voice. Wah, 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 wah. So everybody has a unique voice or can do voices that are unique. Some people can take their voice and imitate other voices, like like comedians, like like let's say like a um somebody who's really good at it, like Aerie Spears. You know the comedian Aerie Spears? He's he's a very good impressionist. He's a very, very good impressionist. You know, he can he can um, make his voice sound like and also do the certain mannerisms um, like other comedians. I mean, like you know, other comedians or other other celebrities, which is kind of interesting because he doesn't look like he would be able to do that with his voice. And he doesn't have a, a speaking voice that's so unique where you'd be like, oh, that's Aerie Spears. He doesn't really have a voice like that. So as you can see, like your voice in show business is your instrument, but it can be the thing that draws people to you. 
And it can also be the thing that gets you in a whole lot of trouble because you ain't had no business talking about somebody that you ain't had no business talking about. And you was talking about them. Here you are on tape dissing. No, that wasn't me. Yes, it was. No, that wasn't me. Yes, it was. No, that wasn't. Yes, it, yes, it, yes, it, yes, it, yes, it was. You ain't getting out of this. You ain't. No, no, no. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Now, what about y'all? Do y'all have, is, do any of y'all out there consider yourselves to have a unique voice? Do you, are, are you the type of person that has a, has a voice that stands out amongst all your peers, that stands out amongst um, most people that you know? Do you have a different voice than all of the people in your family? Like, um, um, do you have the type of voice where you, like people in your family either know that know where you got your voice from because you may have gotten it from like your mom or your dad or, or another family member where y'all sound exactly alike? You know, have you ever have you ever had a voice that was so similar to to somebody that, you know, that you could answer their calls? You know how like back in the day you play play games on on the phone because it was before all this video stuff before 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 um um call id before star 69 before any of that stuff you know playing playing games on on the three-way or or a friend of yours would be over the house and be like well such and such is going to call me at this time i want you to answer the phone because you you sound like my voice and i want you to hear what he or she has to say I'm gonna pick up the phone upstairs, and you just play like you me. And but sometimes, sometimes your voice is so similar to somebody else's that you were able to do that. When family members call my house, or when I'm at my mom's house, they often think that I'm her. My mom has a deep voice, and many times. People think that my mom is a man when she talks. Her voice, she has a deep voice. To me, she doesn't sound like a man. And it's probably because I've been around my mom all my life. So, you know, when you when you have been exposed to somebody, when you're around somebody all the time, you don't hear the way that they sound like other people. Because it's such a familiar sound to you that it's, it's like no, it's not very unique to you. But to other people, you know, so uh, like it's, it's one of those things where my mom doesn't even get offended by it. You know, when people <laughs> it's a funny thing because people like bill collectors or or solicitors have called have called her phone and they'd be like, yes, Mr. Mr. Blue. And she'd be like, <laughs> no, um, Rosie. My name is Rosie Blue. And, and it's funny how Rosie can be a. A, 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 a unisex name. How can that be a man's name? I, even Rosie G Greer, the bat, the football player, the famous lineman, like, how is Rosie, how could Rosie be a man's name? But it, it, you know, it is. It has been. So she would have to correct him, like, no, that's Mrs. Blue. Or Miss Blue, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, she has a deep voice. And me and my mom's voice are pretty similar. Although people tell me that I have a unique voice and, and I sound different than other people, you know, and certain certain women have gassed me and be like, oh, I'm oh, my God. Oh, I can listen to you talk all night long. That's why sometimes, you know, I don't be wanting to get off the phone. I just be. Oh, oh, I, I, we have me in a trance. I'm like, oh, gosh, here we go. You got me in a trance. I mean, they could have been telling the truth. I mean, I think my voice is unique. I don't think it's that much different. And and I've had to change my opinion on my own voice because I really thought my voice was different from any in everybody else's voice. But it's really not. It's similar to some people that even I'm aware of, like the rapper Tretch from Naughty by Nature. I think there are certain times when our voices sound similar. I've heard it and I'm like, huh. Huh. It's not all the way the same, but it's not all, all of that different. One time, <laughs> one time, well, this there was this girl I used to mess with. And this was a time when I was really, really feeling myself. But the girl was married. Now, I knew her before she was married. So 
every now and then we would talk, just catch up and stuff like that. And one time I called her, I called her phone and her son picked up the phone and he was like, hi, dad. And I was like, what the fuck? I, you know, I was wondering, you know, why he thought I was his dad. Whatever. I'm thinking, well, he he's probably thinking like only man that's going to be calling my mom is my dad. So she showed me a video one time of their family. It was like during the holidays. And I heard the nigga talk. And I was like, I swear to God, I thought I was listening to me. I'm looking at this nigga mouth move and I'm hearing my voice come out of his mouth. And I mean, it was exact. Like there was no difference. I was like, what the hell? I know that everybody, they say that everybody has a twin as far as the way they look. This, me and that motherfucker had twin voices. And I, I said... That's why your son thought it, it, it was me when when um when I called you that time. It was a while back. Because by this time they was broken up or whatever, going through a divorce or whatever. And, and you know, the funny thing about it was she knew that shit. And she was a little embarrassed about it because it was making it look like, oh, yeah, well. The reason I like him is because he sound like you. The reason I like you is because you sound like him. So y'all don't act the same, but, you know, like, you could tell that she was turned on by that part. And she just had this 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 look on her face like, uh-huh. you know, you could kind of read that. What's going on, brown eyes? Brown eyes, what's going on? How you feeling? Good to see me. Some of you, thanks for coming on back. Thanks for coming on through. Thanks for being real fly. Word up. All right, so we talk about voices. My brother from another mother, Norris Hill. I said my brother from another mother, Norris Hill. What's going on, my brother? Thanks for coming on now. It's always good to hear you. That's why I give you a shout. Word. The voice, y'all. Are y'all into voices? Yes, no, maybe so. Sometimes I never really thought about it. Maybe I am. Hmm. Hey, that's an interesting thought. I never really gave that. You know what? I, 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 I know one time I was. Yes, yes, I am. That's all right. Let's talk about it. And I, you justice. I, I'm sorry. I, you just be. I, you just be. Thanks for coming on through, my man, my man. Well, I'm assuming that it's a man. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. If it's if it's not, you know what I mean? Please pardon me. Please pardon. But I think it really is. I think it is. I think it is. Mona Garrett says, I work from 7 a.m. to most nights 11 p.m. Wow. The cost I pay to be a supervisor. Goodness gracious. Huh? 7 a.m. You doing 11 hour days every day? I mean, yeah. Mm. Matter of fact, that's 12 hours. Mm. Well, no. Wait a minute, 7 a.m. to 11? That's more than, yo, what you doing? 7 to 7 is 12 hours. Then you tacking on another, you doing doubles every day? Why, 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 why I'm doing that? Why I'm doing that? Well, I'm doing that. That's it. Well, yeah, I mean, take care of yourself. I hope I hope you eating um eating uh, lots of uh good good wholesome and and, and alkaline and organic produce because you gonna need it. That's that's a and I hope you only work three days a week. Maximum four. Shoot, sixteen hour days. You should. Mm-hmm. You should be good with two. Two days. I'm good. Work weekends. Mona Garrett says, here in VA, my voice speaks aggressive. <laughs> I hear that. Oh, it speaks aggression. I got you. I got you. Narcil says, 
a cousin told me I sound like one of one of our uncles. It happens. It happens. It, it seems like a voice can be very hereditary. It can be very hereditary. Um, TK Wright says, I had tons of men who were drawn to my voice because it's it's deep. It's a deeper female voice. When I'm not in, in, in goofy mode, I've been told that my voice is smooth. So more than likely, men were turned on by your voice. I mean, y'all can keep it a buck. I mean, if you're turned on by a person's voice, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. Shoot, yeah, shoot. If you if you have a two to three hour conversation with somebody, I sure hope you like the way they sound because I would think that it would be it would be grueling, even if the conversation was good, to listen to somebody that long and they sound like that. And I've never really thought that I took a person's voice into consideration until I talked to a girl where I couldn't understand a fucking word that she was saying. Like, not only did she have this accent, she had this mumbling way of talking. I swear, I used to be on the phone like, listen, I'm going to call you back with no intentions of calling back because I couldn't understand what she was saying. And... and and I, I can't say it was a voice, but it was like a combination of a voice and her accent and her vernacular. It was just, it was crazy. She was cute, but her voice wasn't. Emily Dunlap in the house, she says, me and my older sister sound alike. Even when writing our, uh, even, even when writing our handwriting looks similar. Well, look, man, if you if you if you love somebody or dislike somebody based on their hand right now, we got a whole different show. I want to see. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how many hands go up with that. Yo, that would be kind of crazy. Hey, yo, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make 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 sure y'all hit the like button. Make 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 sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure that y'all subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you share the show. Uh, make sure that you share the show. And you can call in to the show and make sure that you make your sound felt. Yo. And the number to call is every year a code of 319-527-6199. That's the number to call. I said a 319-527-6199. Yes, 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 y'all. I said a 319-527-6199. Yeah, get on the line. I said a three one nine five two seven six one nine nine. Yeah, get your shine, baby. Uh, 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 get your shine, baby. Three one nine five two seven six one nine nine. Baby, it's a daily go get a message show. Totally uncensored show. You say it the way you mean it. And tonight. Tonight, you bring your passion in any form or fashion, and we are talking about the same voice that draws them in, causes all the trouble. The same voice that attracts the people to you, the same one that they been on. What the nigga, that was you. That was you. That was you. I'm an ear witness. I'm an ear witness. I heard you. I heard you. And I'm going to testify. I put my right hand up. I'm going to testify. Put my right hand up. Uh. Um, so yeah, You're talking about the voice tonight, talking about voices, which y'all know, but you know, all right, let me scroll down a little bit. Stacy Yvette White says, I have an anointed voice. Is oily? How do you have an anointed voice? I'm, I'm interested. Oh, are you just as you're, you're a woman? Okay. I got you. I got you. I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't take, you know, take for granted. Like, wait, 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 wait. No, there ain't no way that that's... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no way that's that's no woman, but it is. Okay, that's what's up. That's I mean, I you just be. I am looking right at your name. I'm just making myself say it wrong. I'm not. I'm not about that life to apologize. I apologize. Mucho apologize. I you just be. Welcome to the Daily Go Getemism Show. I haven't seen you around here, but it's good to see you now. Word up. TK Wright says bill collectors call me Mister all the time. Word? Now that's interesting. You don't have a voice like a man. Like I don't I wouldn't get but you you know no no mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
I've heard you speak many times. Nah, I'm, I'm not getting that. But I'm trying to think like, like with my mom, she don't sound like a man to me. But I've known my mom all my life. Are you just be says I'm doing double duty? I'm doing a double word. Oh my goodness. Mental health. So you around crazies, you around the insane, you around the depressed, you are around the stressed out. You are around the schizophrenic. You are around the I see I see people. I hear voices. I am down to the dump. I don't have no choices. I'm ready to put the gun to my head. And I'm here with you 16 hours fed. Yo, 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 yo. And and you ain't crazy yet. I know you're on the edge. I know that you waxing it up just like a pledge. And I know that you're going to make it all right. But are oh, you doing 16 hours tonight? All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Every time I think about doing overtime, <laughs> like it's not that I'm lazy because I'm definitely not. I just don't like the thought of spending extra time at work. <laughs> Funny that way. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, when you get paid on salary, you don't make no extra money when you're at work. So it's me like. I got to get the fuck out of here. As a matter of fact, I need to do only six hours today if I can get away with it. Developing a YouTube ad for my products. That's what's up, IU. That's what's up. You know what I mean? And do your thing. Do your thing. Who says three, one week, four the next. Okay. Yeah, you can tell you in the medical field with them kind of crazy ass numbers. <laughs> TK Wright says, I love a nice voice. And cannot be seriously involved with a man whose voice and attitude doesn't draw me in. I love uh, uh, I love deep, strong voices. Okay. Norris Hill says, I wouldn't be talking to a, a Michelle. I, mean, I wanted to bring up Michelle. But that's the thing. Now, you look at a Michelle. You know, something in my heart. Something in my heart. Something. Now, Michelle, her speaking voice is so crazily different from her singing voice. You be looking like, yo, somebody doing voiceovers for this for this chick. Ain't no way that somebody who has a voice like that, when you see Michelle talk, you, it, it makes you think that she's slow or dumb or whatever, and she's not. You hear her talk, you can tell like, oh, this chick is type diabolical. Yeah, on some old, like, yeah. Dr. Dre was definitely giving her the smack up but you see how she got him back with, with Suge Knight. And Suge Knight didn't give it a smack up. Hmm. 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 You have a baby by a producer. And then you have a baby by the record owner who hired the producer to be his partner. And then the partner, I mean, and then the producer who was the partner broke away. Made his own um um re uh, record in industry became a mogul and is now a uh, damn near billionaire. So you had a baby by both of them. Hmm. Sounds pretty strategic. Meanwhile, you have one of the best singing voices ever. Like I I, I don't care what nobody say. Michelle A can blow her ass off, and quite effortlessly. If you see her, she's a little thing, but she belt that shit out. You know, but you hear her talk, and you go, "Yeah, and you know, and you know, Dr. Dre and was shook, and you got me in death row." Like, what the fuck? What this chick can't sing? What's she gonna do? Meow on the mic, and she get on there. <laughs> no more, no lies. So people say you're nice. Some people say I'm nasty. <laughs> they call me nasty. I mean, nasty. Nasty. Michelle ain't be blowing. She blowing. Tina Life. Oh. Yo. I said Tina K. 
What's going on? How you been? You, you, you always know about a heaven no. Heaven no. That's what's up. How you been? Good to see you, Tina Life. Word up. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. And it's funny because TK Wright says, I love um deep, deep, strong voices. And it's when you see a man, it's funny because when you see a man that has like a real, you know, soft or high voice, like either a child or 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 even a girl, and you think like, yo, this man ain't got no type of masculinity or whatever. Then he turns out to be a Michael Jackson. Hmm. Ralph Tresvant. Smokey Robinson, you know, you know, some people's voices never develop into deep voices. Like this is as deep as it's going to get. When Michael Jackson near the, when he became a full fledged adult, that was as deep as it was going to get. That's it. That's the threshold. But he could sing his ass off and he could perform his ass off. And he was a hellified, shrewd businessman. So it kind of worked out. He was, he was charismatic and talented enough for nobody to give a shit. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody because I didn't. I didn't like it. But, but for the most part, he he, he won. You'd be hard pressed to find anybody that that scored more points. Surely, sure, the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world. Surely, sure, the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world. Are you turned on by voices? Are you turned off by vo by voices? Is it something that you never really thought about? Let's talk about it. Let's let's work it out. Let's talk about it. Let's let's work it out. So you know we talking about Tina. We talking about the same voice that draws them in is the one that causes all the trouble. So we talking about the power, the power of a person's voice, the power of a person's voice. You yo okay. Let's do this. On some flashback Friday shit. All of y'all have heard yourselves on tape. Now, more than likely, when you've heard yourself on tape for the first time, you said, that's not me. That's not my voice. Because your voice didn't sound anything to you like it sounds to everybody else's. Now, I mean, scientifically, you you find out that the reason that your voice sounds different to you than it does to everybody else is because the bones in your head vibrate and you, you know your vocal cords vocal cords vi vibrate your skin and your bones or whatever so as it as it passes through your auditory canal to your to your eardrums it you get a different sound and pitch of your voice than everybody else hears so when you hear yourself on a recorded device you don't hear what you think you sound like. And some people hate it so much that they don't want to hear it. But it doesn't really matter because that's the way that they really sound. And I've heard people say, like, that's not my, my real voice. But I don't think that anybody could ever show anybody the way their voice sounds to them. But after you start hearing yourself on on um in a recording after you start hearing your recorded voice often then you start to sound to yourself like everybody else hears you like i sound to myself now like like i sound on tape but it wasn't like that in the beginning i was like well i don't sound like that i don't like that that's crazy my voice sounded a lot deeper to me the first time I ever heard it, and it was when I was a kid. I was like, yo, my voice deep. No, my voice deep. And it's not all that deep. You know what I mean? But it sounded to me, it sounded like this. But in my head, it sounded like this. So all right. Um wow. Only says I'm hourly. I'll work 24 hours if they let me. I love my job. Well, that's that's beautiful. Wow. 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't take the promotion unless they kept me hourly. Okay. 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 She said you said she really does. You talking about uh, Michelle A? Yeah, Michelle A got a great voice. Do your thing, Mona. Get that bank. Where would I where would I all day? I knew what if required. Oh, what it required. Okay. Okay. I, uh, 
I, 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 I. So yeah, when with the exception of a Michelle A and a um, well, with the with the exception of a Michelle A, do y'all can y'all think of any other singers that sounded so much different when they spoke than what they sounded like when they sang? Like, does anybody else come to your mind? Like anybody else? I mean, does Michelle A is such a such a unique example? But is there anybody else where you can't you you would never be able to connect the dots between how they talk, how they speak, and 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 how they how they sing or how they rap? I'll tell you. Well, like that rapper Drake, and it's not really that he talks differently than he raps, but like he's his mannerisms are so feminine. You don't get that when he when he rhymes. When he rhymes, he just sounds like, you know, a rapper who doesn't talk about a whole lot of gunplay and gangster shit. But when he talks, he's very limp wristed. And yeah, and I'm like, y'all don't see this nigga? This nigga soft. This is the motherfucker that was beefing with Chris Brown? Like, Chris Brown will fucking mock this nigga. Yo, you know Chris don't play? Chris got an attitude. But speaking of Chris Brown, high voice motherfucker. That's light skin. Light skin and a high voice. But as you can see, he don't mind mixing it up a little bit. Male or female. Like, I will whoop all your asses. Or should I say both your asses? I'll kick you and her ass. Like, listen, Rihanna, Riri, you know what it is. You know what it is, Riri? Riri. Riri. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Brown. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Brown. My man, Clint C. Brantley. What up, my brother? Thanks for coming on through. My brother like no other. That's my word. Scored on my man. Good to see me some you. TK Wright says he and Chris Brown are both soft, soft as marshmallow fluff. Now, see, you know what I haven't heard? Well, I have heard Chris Brown talk, and I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't get the softness that um that Drake. Yo, Drake, man. Yo, yo, yo. I don't think I could ever interview Drake. I'll be on camera like. So y'all just gonna let the boy live? Ain't nobody gonna say nothing, huh? No, no, nobody hear what I'm here. Do you see what I see? She said he and Chris Brown are both soft as marshmallow fluff. What is marshmallow fluff? Cotton candy, ah. Uh. Cotton candy, you lift the barbells, but you still cotton L. You lift the barbells, but you still cotton L. You lift the barbells, but you still cotton L. You lift the barbells, but you still cotton L. You soft and charming. I am harming you, cause I know your feelings is through. Are you still talk soft, 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 Yo, 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 you can never be the boss. You ain't ready, ready for the Freddy and Jason. Saw your mama out there with the pipes. She was facing, I'm facing this. I'm on straight facts, you whack. I ain't trying to be down like that, 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 that. All right. <laughs> Barbara Hill, C. Say, what's going on, Bobby C. Say? Cherry, Cherry says, Prince, Michael, and Islanders who sing without an accent. Now, to, to me, Prince... I don't know. To me, Prince's singing voice went along with his speaking voice because he sang in a lot of different voices. You know, sometimes Prince would sing like this and, you know, a lot of times he would go high. You know, like on the beginning of A Door. Baby, you know, you know, you know like that shit. But then other times it would be like, you know, Dig, if you will, a picture of you and I engaged in a kiss. Sweat on your body covers me. Tell me, my daughter, can you picture this? Yes, it. 
So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about Prince. Michael Jackson definitely sang the way he talked. I don't, I didn't see no, 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 like straight continuity. Quincy Brantley says Eddie Kendricks, when he talked, he had major bass in his voice. You think, you think so? Because when he talked, I didn't hear major bass. Not major. But we know how he sang. He, he, he had a very high voice when he sang. But okay. I'm going to have to go back and listen to some, um, um, see if I can find a Eddie Kendrick's um, interview. Because I didn't see it like that. But I'll tell you one thing. He did not look like he said he would he would have a high voice like that. He didn't. You know? Now, I don't know if Eddie Kendrick was tall, but you know he was thin, especially toward the end of his life. He, you know, the cancer, he was really sick and he had lost a lot of weight. But he looked to me like he was going to have a, a deep voice. But, you know, he just kept on trucking, baby. He just kept on trucking, baby. Rest in peace to Eddie Kendricks. He was dope. All the print, all, all the all the temps that left the group was dope. And you say Clint, uh, the Prince, Clint says Prince had major bass in, in speaking voice. See, I, I major bass? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And TK Wright say this. Major D. It was not. I don't know. 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 I don't that's okay. You're gonna fucking sing that song, anime. You know, it's not over. It's not over. You will you will sing the fucking song. You will sing the song. One day you will sing the song. You're gonna sing the song right. You're gonna sing the song right, or you gonna be wanting to kick my kick me in the face in the damn limo. I ain't trying to hear that shit. No, it says music soul child. When he talks, I don't know. I see continuity, and I don't know. No, to me, no surprise there. No surprise there. Not for me. Oh, oh, he, Eddie Kendrick was six three. Okay, he, he then he was he was tall. He, yeah, he looked like he was. How you be six three? Have a voice like yo. All right, all right. Philip Bailey. Eh. Maybe it was because I saw Philip Bailey when I was so young. That it just fit, you know. I don't think that any man should have had a voice as high as Philip Bailey, but you know what I mean. Mm. Mm. Quincy Brantley says, "Check him out in Purple Rain." You know how many times I've seen Purple Rain? I even watched that dumbass Under the Cherry Moon a few times, but I watch Purple Rain every time it comes on. It's very entertaining to me. That takes me all the way back to my 14-year-old self. <laughs> Purple Rain. <laughs> Purple Rain was a hell of a movie. And I don't mean that, I don't mean that it was written good or whatever, because it really wasn't. It was like a long ass music video for real, for real. But but it was a good movie in terms of every time you watch it, it's what to me, it's like roots. Every time I watch Purple Rain, I see something different. Like, look at this shit here. You you get to watching people in the crowd like what? I wonder if this club really existed. Could it have been? Could it have possibly been that hype? No, I'm sure it wasn't. But you know, <laughs> Howard Hewitt, Howard Hewitt had a high, kind of a high voice, but no, because Howard Hewitt he could he could go high or he could go low, so it's hard to say. But yeah, he had a deep voice when when he talks. I like Howard Hewitt. He's dope. Um, brother was tall. All of the temps were over six feet. Okay, you know none of them look short. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Mona Gaya says, "Me too. I watch Purple Rain every time. It's, uh, it's an entertainment. And, yo, you be watch. You be seeing shit like you know, like 
you be watching when when Apollonia jumped in in that lake, which wasn't Lake Minnetonka. You know, she was supposed to purify herself in the waters of of, of Lake Minnetonka. She jumped in. This, you might see a rabbit. Like yo, did, did you notice that? Yo, did you see the rabbit? It was, when she jumped in, I saw a rabbit. It was a rabbit. They didn't edit that shit out. Maybe this is a different version. I never saw that rabbit. Never saw the rabbit. It was a sparrow in a tree. And I know it was a sparrow. I never noticed that before. Did you notice that shit before? It's cool. This shit in Minnesota. Did you know? All right. <laughs> and Purple Rain, Prince speaking voice um, on the base end, was on the base end. If y'all want to call that base, look, uh, look, I ain't going to argue with y'all. If y'all going to call that base, I. I, 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 I. <laughs> she said, man, did she get pure? <laughs> this shit, yo, yo, and it's funny because, you know, I was young when, when, um, I was 14 when Purple Rain came out. So, you know, Apollonia, you know, Prince always likes some light skin joints, you know, like, I guess you could say, exotic whatever the fuck that means when people be saying people look exotic i don't know what that means but but you know like to me when she took her shit off her titties look so big i go back and watch that shit now like her titties weren't that big you know what i'm saying like he was a little john and she was a little john so you know what i mean you know, a little dude and little you know. but but i was 14 and shit look like bow I'm like, I'm, I wonder how many of my other little peers, 13, 14, 15 year old, you know, I thought they had like real big titties. I'm like, yo, you, you was lying on your titties. You, your titties was only, you had 1980s big titties. They weren't real. They weren't real. <laughs> Those were single D. <laughs> you know, in, in the 2000s, you gotta have triple. Your shit, yeah, I mean, you, like, you got medium. Like double D, yeah, medium, medium, I mean, triple or nothing. Okay, my man Lawrence Saker, what's going on? My man, TK Wright says, Little John, he ain't no singer, he ain't even no rapper. He said, His hype man voice, okay, <laughs> what, what. Okay. Clint C. Bradley says, man, please. She was fine. Just fine for no reason at all. Oh, no. There was a reason. There was a reason. There was a reason. There was a reason. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was a reason. There, there, there was that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway. So, when you, when you talk about people's voices, you know, you may have never noticed how turned on or turned off you were by somebody's voices. Do you think that it's possible to be so turned off by somebody's voice that you start not to like them? And and it's really no fault of theirs. Like they didn't do anything to you. They didn't harm you. They didn't come at your neck. They never you know talk slick or greasy or, or or you know mean to you. They never treated you bad. They never they never tried to bite your back out. They never spread rumors about you. They never they, if anything they may have tried to be cool with you endear themselves to you but maybe their voice was so irritating to you that you it, it was getting in the way of you being able to have effective communication with them like you you really didn't want to hear nothing they had to say it was like you would speak and then when they would speak you'd be like subliminally you like this no no mm -mm. i'm literally not trying to hear that shit and could could it make you actually not like a person have you ever not liked a person and not really knew why you didn't like them or really didn't have a good, uh-oh, or really didn't have a good reason for not liking them? Maybe it was the voice. I mean, it's all speculation on my, on my behalf right now, but could it have been? Could it have been the voice? Could it have been that you didn't like their voice to the point where you started not to like them. And, and and I guess that's unfair. But 
just like with animals. You know how animals respond to, to, to certain voices. And you know that children respond to certain voices, especially male voices. So, you know, like sometimes when a baby will be crying uncontrollably or whatever, maybe they're colic or something or whatever. And sometimes the mom will have will be having trouble with the baby all day. All day, the baby been ah, 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 don't want to sleep, don't want to be up, don't want to eat, don't want to just being real disagreeable, irritable, maybe tired, but not sleeping, whatever. You know, and then the, the dad come home on some old. Baby crying shit. Dad come home. Oh, man, I had a hard ass day. Oh, motherfuckers at work be tripping. Oh, oh, how my little man doing? Hey, what you doing? Yo, boy, why are you in here crying? What you crying for? Hey, get, 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 get me here, boy. Hey, 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 little man. Little man, come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we ain't going to be doing that punk stuff. Come on, you, you, you my little man. And baby was out like, before. He was like, <laughs> and dad come home and with that voice. And, yeah, come on now. We're going to stop all that crying. We're going to stop. Hey, hey, come on, stop all that crying. <laughs> And I've seen it happen. You know, women be all jealous, moms be mad as shit. Like this motherfucker. There's no good little hussy. She been giving me fits all day. He come in, say a few, he ain't even say a few kind words. He just said words. And she come giving it up. She was unruly. She was no good. She was wildin'. Oh shit, no I didn't. Yeah. Oh fudge. I hope I do that shit. Get up. Nah. Get up. Nah. Nah. Yeah. But yeah. Children respond to a man's voice. Much to the chagrin of many women. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, look, brown eyes, she's seen it. She's seen it. Father, come home. Ah, uh -uh, no, no, no. We're going to stop all that crying. Now, come on now. Go on now. Go on. Go on, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're going to man up right there. Oh, that's my how, how, baby, how, how daddy girl. How daddy girl. Uh, that's right. That's uh, okay. 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 All right. We're going to get us a little Gerber going on. Yo. Give a little piece of chicken. That's what that's why that's why she's been giving you a hard time all day. You don't want to get a baby nothing. You don't want to get a baby nothing you want to eat. <laughs> shit, shit, that's my baby. Give a little piece of chicken. Hey, I ain't going to hurt the baby. Give him a little piece of chicken. Give him one of them french fries. You know, let, let baby play with the french fries. They, they suck on the french fries. You know, you need a little, need a little salt. Of <laughs> shit. Shit, you know, any child of mine ain't going to be running around here acting like a punk. There ain't going to be no punk little girl. <laughs> I hear you gonna be a punk like your mama. <laughs> oh, baby, you know I was just playing. You know I was just playing. Give me a beer or something. <laughs> Give me one of them slits. You know them slits out there, but I had a hard ass day. You ain't gonna believe me. I tell you what happened with these motherfuckers. Work. I swear to God, I'm about to quit this motherfucking job. <laughs> I'm about to. Hey, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. That's right. That's right. You still acting. Hey, hey, babe. Hey, babe. I'm about to fall down on the job. I'm scheduled for a fucking. I'm, I'm scheduled for a uh, workman's comp um, suit <laughs> coming up pretty soon. I ain't putting up with this bullshit too much longer. We going to be all right. Let me get some of this stimulus money. Fuck them niggas. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, Brown, I said she definitely has had, have, have seen that happen. She's real shit. Real shit. Barbara Hill, she, she says, says, Cindy Lauper. Lauren Siegel, Siegel says, some females do have a husky voice. Yeah. You know, some more, um, like a, like, um, um, I 
what was the deep voice black lady that died? Everybody loved her. She was um Martin Lawrence mom on um on um thin line between love and hate. What was her name? What's her name? Did you know she had a deep ass voice? What's her name? What what her name was? Maybe, maybe be like just put something in. <laughs> maybe like just put something in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Come on, y'all know who I'm talking about. Um Della Reese. Della Reese. You know, Della Reese had a deep ass voice. Deep ass talk speaking voice, deep ass singing voice. You know what I mean? But Della Reese was a hell of a woman. At least, you know, so busy why she was, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, very, very deep, very husky voice. Very deep, very husky. Carol Chamberlain says, I have an acquaintance whose voice irritates the hell out of me on the phone, but I can tolerate them in person. That's interesting. Huh. So on the, on the phone, you'd be like, all right, well, I got to go. Um, man, I got to go freeze some ice. Yeah, I got it. Yo, the water ain't the, don't be getting cold. I got to go freeze some water. I'm going to call you back, though. I'll call you back. I see you. 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 I call you back. I see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. TK Wright says, yes. There is the most. There is. The most wonderful man, fine as fuck, all the good stuff, who is completely enamored with me, but his voice sounds like my 12-year-old niece. I can't. I just can't. Damn. 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 Barb Hill, she says, that, ha that has nothing to do with the tone of voice, but I, but I saw a man. Oh, this has nothing to do with the tone of voice, but I saw a man at the TD bank and we caught each other's eyes and he walked over to my car and started stuttering so hard. Well, stuttering is their voice though. Can I feel your titty? Take can I take you out? I said, can I get inside your drawers? I said, <laughs> if you give me some ass, I won't stutter. This nigga be this nigga be making sex sounds and stuttering. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. On some, <laughs> on some Lenny. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. On some Lenny. What's the, what's the boy name? You know, Lenny, Lenny, uh, Lenny, Lenny. You know, Lenny, Lenny. You know, Lenny. Y'all know what I'm talking about Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Not Lenny Kravitz either. You know, the soul singer with that one popular ass song. You know, Lenny, 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 Lenny Williams. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Clint. Thank you. Thank you. Lenny, uh, yeah, Lenny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 shit. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, Lawrence says. On, on, on the other hand, Michelle A would make you slap her. I don't know, man. We was just talking about Michelle A before you came on. I don't know. I like Michelle A. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'd be like, just well, look. When, when, if, we, if I would talk to you on the phone, just sing, sing all, all the whole conversation. What are you doing? I'm gonna be like I'm just chilling in the crib. Well, what are you watching? Are you watching TV? I'll be like, well, actually, I got the sound down, and I was listening to this video, and I was checking out some shit and playing words with friends on my phone and making up a stupid ass status that I know we're gonna make me block me. <laughs> <laughs> what 
We'd be like Porgy and Bess on the phone. <laughs> We'd be like Porgy and Bess. Your daddy's rich and your mama's good looking. You know what I'm talking about? Um, Barbara says, I was startled. No exaggeration. Like, why would he do that? <laughs> and he looked like that. Mm. He worked out, obviously. He was tall and attractive. How could he stutter? It doesn't make sense. God don't make mistakes. He made that nigga stutter. He like, you ain't gonna be... You ain't gonna have the entire package. We, you need a flaw. But hey, didn't Joe Biden used to stutter? He still does. If he tries to go too fast, oh, sh well, will you shut up, man? That was, that's my favorite. That's my favorite Joe Biden line. I don't care what Joe say for the rest of his career. You're like man, we man, will you will you shut up, man? Will, will, will you shut up, man? Will you shut up, man? Will you shut up, man? Sh 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 shut up, man. That fucking Donald Trump. I don't know how people could listen to him talk, but evidently his voice resonates with millions of people. I hate listening to him. And I mean, absolutely hate. I don't like his voice. I don't like his cadence. I don't like his, his projection, his pitch. I, I can't stand it. It's a real turnoff. I mean, besides the, the ridiculous content, but evidently people who like him, they think his voice is cool and they like listening to what he has to say. And they like listening to him, you know, crowds of 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 can't be, they can't all be turned off by his voice. I don't think, I don't think they are. I don't think they are at all. I don't think so. No, I don't. No, no, no. <laughs> Lenny Williams has new music. Yeah, he said, he certainly does. He certainly does. Um, TK Wright says, I used to stutter, Barbara, still do every once in a while. That man just needed to take his time. You could have you could have been his sexy muse, sis. Barbara says, Carly Simon started singing to get over her stutter. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Plenty of plenty of sing sing singers have stuttered or, or or spoke with a lisp. Like that, that damn. That damn cool G rap. You ever see cool G rap talk? I mean, his lisp is so strong. It's like, and then when you hear when after you hear him talking, you see how bad his lisp is. You realize that damn, he's lisping when he raps, but he raps so well and and often so fast and and with such great flow and and lyrics that you don't you didn't peep it, but you hear him talking. It's like, yo, this is ridiculous. But with some people, evidently, the voice can be a deal breaker. It could be a maker or a breaker. Like, yo, you know, just like just like my man Lawrence was saying, like he couldn't put up with a Michelle A. Like, I'm not listening to no shit like that. You ain't going to be in my bedroom like, well, you know, baby, I'm bored. What you mean you bored? I mean, I'm bored. Like, yeah, like. We need something that, like we should do something. But it's a pandemic, baby. There ain't no way to go, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, but yeah, but there are places that are open. People still go out. I don't see why we can't go out. Well, the reason that we don't go out is because we have to make sure that we protect the health and those of ourselves and our children and everybody else. Yeah, but if we all go out and we all protect ourselves, I think that we'll be okay. All right, well, where you where you want to go? Well, I'm thinking that if you're a man and you know that your woman wants to go out and, you know, we have to take the kids too, then you should probably come up with some kind of idea that, that would be conducive to where all, all of the family could go. Mm. 
You mean like to a restaurant? Do you mean like to a recreational center? Because I don't know if recreational center is open. Well, whether it's a recreational center or not, you know, it's not like we're going to an amusement park, but we can go somewhere. I mean, it's the middle of the winter, but we can still go. Don't you think that we should go somewhere? We, we haven't been anywhere in a while. Why are you whipping my ass? I ain't doing anything. <laughs> Incidentally, that's my Elmo voice too, or at least it's close to it. Elmo! 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 My name is Elmo! La la la! My name is Elmo! La la la! Fuck is y'all niggas talking about? La la la! La la la! Elmo's world, please! Elmo's world, please! Elmo's world, please! Elmo's, Elmo, eh, 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 Elmo's world! Fuck is y'all talking about? All right. Okay. 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 T.K. Wright says, I promise that I don't sound like Sylvester the Cat. <laughs> fuck it. Fluffer and fuck it, Tash. <laughs> how damn cat speak with a lisp? How, how that work? You know what I mean? How do you meow with a lisp? Meows. 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 That's your hiss. Make sure that y'all hit the like button. Make sure that y'all hit the like button. Make sure that you share the show. Uh, make sure that you share that show. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. It's the DG show tomorrow. Uh uh. DG show tomorrow. Uh uh. DG show tomorrow. Uh uh. Do what you're supposed to do uh, right now, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, she says, Cool G rap, light up the mic for the symphony. Hey, yo, Marley gives a slice. <laughs> Sound nice. <laughs> this is This applies goes deep till you fell in the spell of a sleep. And while I'm counting the money, you can't sleep. With G Rap slice the mic, I recite the hype to like that you like to make the people you like. I slip up hit and hit up with zip. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I can't be fucking with Nars. <laughs> Barbie Hill CJ says, "At Sun Seven Five Two, yes, it was an Elmo voice beating." Beating up his jaw for asking to go out. We haven't been anywhere. Lars <laughs> Cycle says, and I'm the one who smokes. Flav said, yeah, Flav always sound the same. Uh, it's like, yeah, boy, bass for your face. Bass for your face. We're about to get out of here pretty soon. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm enjoying this conversation. We're talking about, talking about people's voices. Now, 
you know, in terms of the topic, when I was saying that the one thing that may draw people to you could be the same thing that, you know, gets you in all the trouble. Like I said, <clears throat> if you, if your recorded voice gets on something, you have a unique voice, you have a voice that's unlike anybody else's, it'll be hard for you to deny that you said something that was a little bit greasy. You might've been talking a little bit slick, a little bit slick, you know what I'm saying? And, and here you are trying to deny that you said this shit. You said it. You said it. And because your voice is so different from anybody else's, you would never be able to say that, nah, I ain't say that shit. I was just, you know what I mean? I mean, that wasn't me on tape. Be like, no. Don't nobody sound like you, son. Don't nobody say, ain't nobody bad like me. <laughs> Lars Siegel says, I want some of what's in that cup. Listen, man, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do you know what I'm saying? Actual facts. Fuck out of here. Yeah, say. Yeah, these niggas say. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just say it for real. For real. Hey, Lawrence, remember? <laughs> How are you coming? <laughs> All right, all right. I must be tired. I must be tired. <laughs> all right, we have a call on the line. But so before we go, to these birthday shoutouts, we have a call on the line. Caller with the last numbers fifteen eighty four. Welcome to. Yo, you gotta turn down your device. You gotta turn down your device. All right, you good? You good? All right, all right, you good. Thanks for calling in. You know, what's on your mind tonight? How you feeling? I just wanted to tell a real quick story because you just said when somebody has a distinct voice when they tried to deny that it was them, it reminded me. Wait a minute, did I say hi? By the way, who this? Because <laughs> I don't know this voice. <laughs> oh, but this is Bobby Tuesday. Number one, the first comment I made in there is, Ooh. you know, this is my regular speaking voice, but you notice know when some women turn on that other voice that I really couldn't describe in the chat. And mm. it's just like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> you know, when they be talking all like that, you know what I'm saying? All like that. that. This voice is so freaking annoying. Word. Yeah, they just talk like that. But the story I want to tell you about is, it was a conference call. I wasn't on the conference call, but it was a conference call at work. And somebody said, nigga, what are you doing? And everybody got quiet on the phone. As, you know, I'm hearing it retold or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they were like, huh, huh, what the fuck? You know, they're like, who said that? Who said that? And then the person who said it didn't realize, I guess, that he was on, wasn't on mute. Uh -huh. And then when he came back, he was trying to play it off like, uh -huh. yo, what happened? Yo, you know, he said he tried to change his voice. Uh-huh. So, so then the call ended. They went on like nothing happened. And I guess one of the people on the call reported it to HR and they started calling the people who were on the call wow. to try to do, I guess, the process of elim elimination. Now, people said they knew who it was. So when HR called, they started giving his name. Uh -huh. So then they went back to the dude. He denied that it was him. They said, listen, we're going to give you a chance. If you say it was you, you can't be promoted for two years and you got to take sensitivity training. And he stuck to his guns and got fired. Mm. Because he said it wasn't him. But everybody knew it was him. Yeah, because because his voice, like, you're not getting out of that. So did, did he have like a did he have like a really, really distinctive voice, the voice that separated him from just about anybody? Or could it could it or was it just that there weren't that many men that were working that it could have possibly been? I think he, I think it was that everybody just kind of like, I know all my coworkers, you know what I mean? So it could have been something as simple as that. And, but I think that the person who told me is black and he said that there was a couple of black people on the phone. This person was white, of course. But, you know, like our voices sometimes, not always, it's different. So you can distinguish between an African American mm -hmm. and a Caucasian, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so that's what had happened. You know, he's like, nigga, what is you doing? And they were like, mm-hmm. God, who said that? Then everybody was just like, you know, I think some of the people said that they were in a, oh, that's the other thing. It was a couple people that were together, like three, four people together in a conference room, so they knew it wasn't them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then it was people meeting from other parts of the, of the country. So, yes, he said, nope, it wasn't me. Now, everybody started saying, like, it's, it's Johnny Johnson. And he's like, no, it's not me. And he got fired. Well, you know, he 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 played that card. You know, he uh he didn't have he didn't have enough pairs to be able to, <laughs> to to be able to go on in the tournament. But you know what, let me ask you something. Because uh you you caught my attention with something that you said. You were saying how, you know, you can normally t- tell the difference between a black person and a white person when they speak. Do you think that that's is it the voice that makes you be able to tell the difference a lot of times or is it the cadence? Is it is it the vernacular? Is it the it's way a, that they? It's the intonation, the, the cadence. Okay. We have a different voice altogether, and my my voice is deeper than I would say. Even though I think I have a lighter voice, I don't know how to describe it. But I, you know, I'm not speaking. I'm just going to say, in the experience that I've had, and I've dealt and been around and talked to a whole bunch of white people, um, their voices, the women's voices, are much lighter. Mm-hmm. Um, it's different if they're a smoker. I'm not talking about anybody who smokes, but their voices are higher. Um and I think we have more um, richness or something. I don't know. It's just something different in our voice. Yeah. I can, you know, even if I you know, I can we, we know how to use sixty dollar words or whatever kind of you know, you know, we could speak for the longest time all in every meeting I was been told that I was articulate and I guess they thought that was um a compliment. Mm-hmm. But even if I'm being really articulate and using my best language, you would still know that I'm black. I mean, as another black person, I think. You know what I mean? So I think mm-hmm. only one time I was surprised. But I always know when somebody's putting on air. Yeah. You know, so you, whatever that means. Do you do you know this song by Jackie Morris called This Time Baby? You son of a B. You really I do know that song, but you know what? You should do it. Um, you should think about right. singing that song sometime. It's it's a it's a really cool One song. It's yeah. okay, cool. Mm-hmm. All right, that's what's up. I don't know. I don't know what made me think of that. I don't know what made me think of that. I just thinking. I was for some just like popped in my I head. Don't know either. It just popped in my I head. I'm thinking. I was like, dead ass. I was dead ass <laughs> when I said your voice is better. Okay, I mean that's cool. You you you've been practicing or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, before you were, I think I think you were you were so invested in sounding well that you might have did a little bit extra on the vibrato and all of the kind of stuff, and <laughs> you didn't know what your pitch and your register was. But now, you know, I it's absolutely a remarkable improvement to me. Like not remarkable, but a market improvement. Like I, I that's what's a, that's a, I appreciate that. That's what's so. Um, but I but I don't think I could sing that Jackie Moore song. But I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's it's hard to say. It's just. Practice. I, I, I think you can do it. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't think that's the song for me. I just. It's the song for somebody. Maybe something by Terrence Trent What's his name? Terrence. Maybe something by him. Maybe it's wrong with something by him. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate you calling in. I appreciate you taking the call. Without a doubt. Thanks for calling in. And you have a wonderful night. I want to foul. I want to foul. That's what's up. Good looking out. Good looking out. Good looking out. Oh, now we go to do the birthday shout outs. We go to do the birthday shout outs. And then after that, then we, we, I go to tell you about tomorrow's show and the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. And then, and then we go to break out and do the things that we want to do in life. Like watch TV and talk to our family members and, you know, you know that, that we raise our children and find out what's, what is going on in each other's lives. Some of you will have sex and, and talk shit and drink and smoke and get high. But they're not high. All right, y'all, we have some birthday shout-outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. 
February 26th, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get S P S S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box. T.J. Lee, T.J. Lee, turning 50 years old today, has century. Do the damn thing, T.J. And also, Marilyn Anthony, turning 37 years old today. And Leo McNear, turning 48 years old today. And Gwen Stokes, happy birthday to you. And Monica Troidel, well, I guess it's Troy L, turning 54 years old today. And Shariga Sterling, happy birthday to you. And my girl, Rima Thomas, happy birthday to you. And Miles Green, my man, comedian, Miles Green, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Always funky fresh, happy birthday to you, my brother. And last but not least, my man, Bill O. Muhammad, turning 46 years ago, old today. I'm going to say happy birthday to all of you and anyone else out there who shares this birthday with this glorious Glorious, glorious. February 26th, anywhere out there in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally. All of y'all go ahead and turn up, turn up. But don't turn up too loud, just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. Rock out, rock on and do the damn, the damn, the rock out. Rock on and do the, do the damn, rock out. Rock on and do the damn thing and do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings and do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, to any, to uh, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, 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 listen, man, you know, voices, voices are a big thing. It's the instrument of those who are musicians. It is actually an instrument of communication for you and anyone that you are trying to talk to, trying to get information from and, or give to. And it's a way for you to bridge the gap between, you know, whether whether you would just be cool, all right, or you know, serviceable with somebody and whether y'all be like close. Communication, communication, communication. It's communication. Love plus you and me. It is communication. We're going to make it last forever or something. I mean, you know, you may have a unique voice that makes people, you may have the golden voice, that thing that makes people come to you. You know, I was beating down the street. So I pushed my brake until I saw a fly girl make me shiver and shake. So I put, okay. So you, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. You know, try not to let people's voices get off their nerves, have you all twisted and turned, you know what I mean, and, and tight, 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 messed up. Tomorrow, y'all, tomorrow is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show, and we want to talk about in-home health care. Home health care, that's what's going to be on the menu tomorrow. We're going to have Queen Monica Davis on the line. You know, she's going to come through and be our guest tomorrow and, you know, and hit us up because uh, she has some, some good stuff to tell us about home health care in terms of, but we're going to talk about it in a real way. We are, this is not going to be any advertising. We're going to talk about some of the challenges of home health care, you know, when you really need it. And sometimes when you don't really need it, but hey, somebody else is paying for it and you're eligible. So, you know, there, there may be times when you just looking out for the cookout, look out for the cookout, look, 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 now for the cookout. It's not a bad thing to do and it's not a bad way to be. But hey, now what about? Um, home health care when it's not that good and you really are in, in desperate need of good help, home health care. And you're dealing with somebody that's just trying to pick up a check. It's not a good look. You know what? I'll probably get my sister to call in too because she she has done that for a living for over a decade. So yeah, we're going we gonna to get it popping tonight on the Urban Therapy, I mean tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. So make sure y'all look out. We're going to talk about home health care. Home health care, home health care, you know, it, 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 your home health care, if don't nobody else care. I want y'all to have a good night. Peace to all my day ones, my every days and my brand news. I love y'all to death, resuscitate y'all, love y'all right back to life. You think I don't when I do. 
Uh, yeah, thank you. Ain't is who? All right, so blog talk. Let me get you on the body here. Okay, I go by. You go bye bye. 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 You go 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 bye. All right. And for my Instagrammers, man, thanks for coming through. Appreciate it. And I holler back at you. Uh. And I holler back at you. Uh. Uh. And I holler, 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 holler. And for my YouTubers, you already know the time tomorrow. Urban Therapy with Sun Show. It always shines. Uh. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Y'all have a good night. Be safe. Do not take off your masks. Unless you're about to show your ass. Don't stick off your mask unless you're about to show your ass. Don't stick off your mask unless you're about to show your ass. If you even got to show your ass without taking off a mask, because you might be having sex with a stranger. Yo, danger. Stranger, danger. Stranger, danger. Don't take off your mask unless you're giving us some ass. Don't take off your mask unless you're giving us some ass. Don't take off your mask unless you're giving us some ass. Oh, shit. I ain't got no mask. I'm by myself. Ah, peace, y'all. Yeah.